Live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 News at 5. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Andrew Luria and I'm Susan Lennon. We begin today with celebrities and San Diegans charged in a nationwide college admissions bribery scandal. Make no mistake. This is not a case where parents were acting in the best interests of their children. This is a case where they flaunted their wealth, sparing no expense to cheat the system so, so they could set their children up for success with the best education money could buy, literally. The man at the center of that scam pleaded guilty to four charges this afternoon and faces up to 65 years in prison. In court today in Massachusetts, William Singer admitted to bribing coaches at several of the nation's most prestigious universities across the country here in Los Angeles. Actresses Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin are among several people also accused in the scheme, and they are in court right now. We're going to get to the local connections to the case in just a few moments. But first, Molly Lyons starts us off with the details of the scandal. TV stars Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin, both charged with conspiracy to commit mail fraud and wire fraud, along with 33 other parents under indictment after the FBI lifted the lid on Operation Varsity Blues, a 10-month investigation culminating in dozens of arrests, busting a massive nationwide college admissions scheme. We're talking about deception and fraud, fake test scores, fake athletic credentials, fake photographs, bribed college officials. The feds say a man named William Singer was the ringleader, making millions taking bribes from wealthy families, disguised in part as charitable donations, with the aim to help their kids get into top colleges and universities. Singer bribed coaches to list the kids as recruited athletes, despite a lack of talent, or bribed test administrators and takers to help the students cheat on SAT and ACT tests. Numerous parents paid Singer between $15,000 and $75,000. To have someone either take the exam for their child or to correct their child's answers afterward. The FBI says the investigation isn't over and it's working hard to combat a culture of greed surrounding college admissions. There can be no separate college admission system for the wealthy and I'll add that there will not be a separate criminal justice system either. Officials say this is the largest college admission scam ever prosecuted by the Justice Department. In Boston, Molly Line, Fox 5 News. And two San Diegans are tied up in this scandal as well as the University of San Diego. And Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live for us with that part of the story. Jamie. But today, FBI agents told me that they did arrest two high-profile San Diegans, Elizabeth Kimmel, the former owner of Channel 8 News, and Toby McFarlane, a high-level executive for a title real estate company, both being charged with mail fraud. As news broke of the FBI arrest of Elizabeth Kimmel, the former owner of Channel 8 News, this Audi was seen reversing its way from news cameras and then exiting a side street. Investigators also named Toby McFarlane as another parent who was involved with Operation Varsity Blues. A longtime friend reacted to the news. I'm just truly I'm shocked because Toby uh, has always been a great guy. We enjoyed he and his family. I'd love to get the grandkids into school, but I'm not going to sign anything. I do even never heard of such a thing. As the college admission scandal broke, investigators say parents were able to bribe or trick colleges into accepting students at Yale, USC, UCLA, Georgetown, and locally here at University of San Diego. Students said they liked the college company, but did not like the scandal. This country was built on merit, talent, creative minds, and the fact that people are just buying their way into it seems a little wrong. It creates another level of unfairness for the people who didn't even have that money to begin with and then now they're at a disadvantage against people paying for SAT scores. Admissions experts say this could discourage students who are already struggling. They're working really hard and they're like, hey, if anybody can cut the line and really just pay, write a big check to make that happen, what chance do I have? College prep trainer Ed Sanderson says this should have a lasting effect on admissions nationwide. I think it's important for them to take a look at their entire process to determine who they're letting in the front door and what are the circumstances that are allowing that to happen. And uh, FBI officials say that parents were spending between 200000 and in some cases up to $1.2 million to get their students into those elite schools. From USD Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News. 